Bivo is also a busy boxer. He throws a lot of punches and he has been able to show that. Hello, HTV unboxing fans. It is fight week and pound for pound boxer Canelo Alvarez is fighting Demetrio Bivo for Bivo WBA World Lightweight Heavyweight Championship belt. Now, before we go on, please don't forget to leave your prediction below in the comments. Also like and then share the video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe and follow us so that we can keep bringing more of this to you. In this video, I'm going to discuss how both fighters got here, focusing on their recent and prominent fights, what they bring to the fight in terms of their strengths and weaknesses, the strategies they should both bring um, to the night, and of course, by prediction. This is talking boxing. So let's talk about Demetrio Bivo. This is likely Bivo's biggest fight in his career for several reasons. He's fighting the number one pound for pound boxer in boxing right now in the name of Canelo. Bivo does bring in some strengths coming into this fight that we need to touch on. Um, Bivo is a technical boxer with good fundamentals, similar to a few boxers that um, Canelo uh, have fought that gave Canelo problems in the past, like Mayweather. He has also got lots of speed Bivo is a fast boxer, at least compared to Canelo, and his last few fights he overwhelmed his opponents. He can put together consistent combinations and even when on the defensive, often manages to return some counter punches, which brings us to perhaps his best attribute, his jabs. Bivo can accurately get straight shots in, in terms of jabs, and Canelo may struggle with that, as he, he Canelo did with um, Gennady Golovkin and Sergei Kovalev. Straight shot jabs can be a weakness uh, for Canelo. Now, Bivo is also a busy boxer. By this, I mean he throws a lot of punches and he has been able to show that at his weight class, which is not easy to be able to um, deliver that many punches. Bivo can go the distance. I feel both of Canelo's last two opponents were just not built to go the distance, but I believe Bivo can. Below Joe Sanders did not make it and ended up at round eight. Caleb Plant went all the way to round 11, but it is essentially why he lost because he was just not built to go the distance. Finally, Bivo is an in and out boxer and Canelo has struggled with boxers like that in the past. He may give the pound for pound a boxer a run for his money with this trade. Now to some Bivo weaknesses. Dimitri does not protect himself very well. He exposes himself a bit too much, especially inside the ring. If there's one person to make you pay for too much exposure, it's going to be Canelo. Bivo will need to improve in this area to avoid being punished. His other weakness is his predictability. Everyone knows he will be throwing some good straight shots, but everyone also knows he barely throws any hook. He does not possess lots of variety and we would not expect any surprises. His follow throughs are also sometimes very suspect. Now to Canelo Alvarez. This is arguably Canelo's third toughest fight um, besides Mayweather and Golovkin. Canelo comes in after defeating Caleb Plant um, in the middleweight unification, taking off four belts. He also defeated two undefeated champions in the name of Callum Smith and Billy Joe Sanders. He's the pound for pound boxer for a reason. What are his strengths? He's an efficient boxer. This means that he almost always throws less punches than his opponent, but he executes these punches so well that he makes sure they land. He also has a lot of power in his punches. And as I said earlier, because he throws less, he makes sure these opponents feel it. The other strength of Canelo is that he's a confident boxer. Now, boxing is one of those sports you got to be confident in your abilities. And fans also like to see that. Any shot from Canelo is expected to do some damage because he issues them with precision and much confidence. Finally, his defense is on point. Canelo protects himself very well, and if he targets the jabs of Bivo, who doesn't have lots of variety, we should see less punches landing on him. Let's mention a few weaknesses, even though low. He struggles with the movers. He struggles with boxes that throw a lot of punches. This happened with Plant and Bivo is a mover. So Canelo may struggle with Bivo in this area. He also struggles with in and out boxes, as I had said earlier, which Bivo is one. So what strategies should the boxers bring going to the fight? Both fighters are technical and we may be in for a tactical night. Uh, I think both fighters right from the beginning 
need to let their opponents know what they got. By this, I mean that Canelo should make Bivol feel his hard punches. Bivol should come with his multiple punches and the jabs and try to overwhelm Canelo. However, considering Canelo can protect himself very well, if Bivol realizes it's not working, I would advise that he fall back on his um, calculated jabs because we all know Canelo can go the rounds as he did in his previous fights with Planta and Billy Joe Sanders. So if Bivo gets tired too early, that's going to spell doom for him. Canelo needs to load up his punches with some power since he throws less. This we know he's going to do and he needs to do that right away. One thing I didn't talk about for any of the boxers is footwork. And that's because I don't particularly think any of them has the best or the worst. But whoever comes out better that night in that department is going to have the upper hand. Now to my prediction. Because Canelo is playing on the field of Bivol and Bivol has the belts, some feel Bivol has a chance of winning. But I think otherwise. Bivol leaves himself too open and with Canelo's power punches, he's going to get hurt. I see this fight going the rounds because Bivol is just too strong for Canelo um, to knock out and he is built to go the distance. I expect Bivol to pace himself. It is going to be a tactical fight but I predict Canelo will win by unanimous decision based on him loading enough power punches against a less protective Bivol. Thanks for watching and please share your prediction below the video and state why you think so. Also please please show some appreciation if you like this share, subscribe, and follow us so that we keep bringing this to you. This is Talking Bot.